Do you think it's rude if you have a friend that's late to every scheduled event or hangout? Why or why not? Different take from me. My older brother is like this, he's late to everything, and has been for his whole life. It used to piss me off when we were young, I'd go over stuff with him and tell him what time he'd have to leave to get somewhere on time. I'd invite him to stuff earlier than everyone else. All sorts of tricks and still, he'd be late and I'd be annoyed. He's 67 now, and years ago I realized that there's some kind of time management thing in his head that's broken. He isn't a jerk, he isn't selfish, he badly wants to avoid disappointing people, but he's still late to stuff. So now, when we invite him for dinner, we tell him what time we'll be eating, and that we won't be waiting, and it's 100% okay if he's not there when we start. We'll make sure there's plenty of food and, if he's late, we'll heat some up for him and we can hang out while he eats. We don't put him in a position where other people will miss something important if he's late. We're all happier for it. I love my brother. I completely cut one guy out of my life after he pulled this shit one too many times. Yes. He doesn't respect your time. Lost friends because of it, had me waiting over an hour to eat lunch even though they were like 5 minutes away and kept saying they were headed over soon. Depends on the person. I have a good friend that is almost always late to the weekly gatherings with our friend group but I know for a fact he loves being there. Maybe more than everyone else. Either way, I don't hold it against him and I don't think the others mind. Just have to know your friends. The older I get and the more everyone's schedules start drifting apart, the more I appreciate how hard it is simply to get a group of people together in the first place. Do I think it's rude when people show up later than planned? Of course, sometimes. Kinda depends on what kind of event it is. A birthday party I'd probably care more than just a kickback or something. Overall though, I'm just really happy if anyone is able to set aside any amount of time to hang out and catch up. Maybe that's a low bar, but I know how hard it is sometimes and I don't know exactly what everyone is going through all the time. Yes. It's a reflection of how they value you and how they value themselves in relation to you. Had a friend like that. Started adjusting my arrival to be the same as theirs. Once I showed up a few minutes later than them, and it was the beginning of end in their eyes. Friends can't be late. I think it's inconsiderate, especially when it's more than 15 minutes every time. Uh, no because if you're friends, it doesn't matter if you're a smidge late as it's not business related. Of course. That's why I don't have friends like this anymore. If you don't respect me enough to show up on time, I don't want to be friends with you. Yes, I have a friend like this. It's a group joke that she and her husband will be at least two hours late. It's so rude. I refuse to pander to it. It's only rude to me if you laugh it off every time and make it part of your personality. I don't wait for late people much anymore. I know a couple that is habitually late by more than 45 minutes, and on my 30th birthday I had a specific time for when dinner would be served due to it being a murder mystery dinner, an event that my family graciously let me host in their big ass farmhouse, and when my doorbell rang an hour after the scheduled time, I didn't let them in and ask them to leave. Yes. If it happens a few times, okay fine. Shit happens. But if it's a constant thing, that's rude. Yep. BC it's rude. I have ADHD and this thread makes me want to give up on life lmao. Honestly it's a waste of energy to fight it. If I have friends like that I give them a time 30 minutes, 1 HR before the real time. Yes. With exceptions, of course. Every one of us has a full and unique life we manage on the daily, yet we still manage to get to the event on time. When one person does not put any priority on respecting the time of everyone else in the group, they are showing their disregard for their friends. I've found ADHD to be an exception, along with anxiety in some cases. 
I have a friend with ADHD and she can't time keep. She's worked so hard on it, and her skill at it is as good as it's going to get at this point in our lives. It's just part of life for her that time is nebulous at best, and it's difficult on her in general. I've seen her hyper-focus, time would slip away from me too if I could do that. The group hounding her won't make it any easier, it'll make it harder, actually. So for 15 of the 20 years I've known her, I've given her an arrival time that's a full hour ahead of everyone else. It's a tool her friends put in her toolbox to get her places on time. She was made aware that we do it, but she forgets that we do it. Sometimes she schedules herself that way for other things, because it is an effective tool for her. In her case it's not rudeness. She's doing her level best with what she's got in terms of cooperative brain and the tools she has to work with. That's not rude. I appreciate her efforts. If she's a little late now and then, it's not a huge deal, because we know she's put in the effort to set reminders every step of the way to try and get herself somewhere on time. I had a, now former, friend that was always late. If she asked you to give her a ride somewhere, she would start getting ready when you arrived and would come to the car an hour or more late. I told her the second time she did it that if she wasn't ready and waiting when I got there, I'd leave without her after five minutes, I don't care what she misses. Only had to leave her three times for her to straighten up. She still does it to other people, because she likes the feeling of power. I don't talk to her anymore. That is rudeness that is late because it's disregard for the other people involved. Yes. I rely on routine, and public transport, so when people are late it makes me antsy. I'm on the autism spectrum, which may be a contributing factor, but will you agree to meet me at 7 o'clock, you'd better bloody be there on time. The later someone is, the less they value your time, and the less they respect you. Depends why they're late. I'm the chronically late friend because I'm a caregiver for my dad with dementia and literally anything, and I mean anything, can happen at any time. And so often does.